Hello students, welcome. In this moment, we are going to study sulfur cycle. As we know, nutrients are neither created nor destroyed. That means nutrients are finite and constant in amount or number. And sulfur is one of the most important nutrients for the synthesis of the most valuable biochemicals, what we call proteins, that contain methionine and cysteine. So, this nutrient, sulfur, must be recycled in an ecosystem to sustain life on Earth. Like other biogeochemical cycles, the core cycle of sulfur is between the soil, plants, animals, and specialty composers. There are also components that are related to long-term rock formation and weathering as well as the formation of sulfur dioxide when fossil fuels are burned. So, sulfur is taken up by plants from the soil in the form of sulfate ions. This sulfur, which was in plants protein, then get passed to animals through feeding and digestion. When plants and animals that contain sulfur in their body's protein die, sulfate-reducing bacteria or disulfovibrio decomposes these proteins to release sulfur in the form of hydrogen sulfide to the soil in anaerobic conditions because disulfovibrio work to break down or to decompose sulfur-containing proteins of plants and animals in anaerobic condition. Then, in some aquatic environments, photosynthetic sulfur bacteria capable to oxidize hydrogen sulfide to sulfur. And sulfur bacteria, mainly of the genus Thiobacillus, then oxidize hydrogen sulfide or and sulfur to sulfate with sulfide as an intermediate step or intermediate product. This is an oxygen requiring process that needs aerobic conditions and makes sulfate ions available once again to be taken up by plant roots from the soil. That means this thiobacillus first must convert hydrogen sulfide or sulfur to sulfide and the sulfate. And this bacteria work properly in aerobic conditions. Sulfur can also become incorporated in rocks, including those that yield fossil fuels. That means dead remains of organisms get buried and remain in the ground or sedimentary rocks for many years and form fossil fuels. So, combustion of this Sulfur-containing fossil fuels oxidize sulfur to sulfur dioxide. We know that this sulfur dioxide is a serious pollutant to the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, this sulfur dioxide becomes further oxidized to sulfide and sulfate molecules. These sulfide and sulfate molecules, as we know, can react with steam water in the atmosphere and produce sulfurous and sulfuric acid respectively. In this case, sulfur get back to the ground through acid rain in the form of sulfurous and sulfuric acid. As we can see from the diagram, sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere just gets, gets converted to sulfate through photochemical oxygen. Then this sulfate in the soil gets absorbed by plants to make their own sulfur-containing proteins. Then, sulfate ions in the soil are taken up by plants and incorporated in plant tissue. Many proteins including some sulfur-containing amino acids like methionine and cysteine. These sulfur-containing proteins are then passed to animals by feeding and digestion. Through feeding and digestion, this sulfur just gets incorporated or assimilated into animal's body in the form of sulfur-containing protein. As we discussed before, when these plants and animals die, sulfate-reducing bacteria release sulfur in the proteins in the form of hydrogen sulfide. Then, photosynthetic sulfur bacteria in aquatic environment just convert hydrogen sulfide to sulfur. And this sulfur can be incorporated in rocks. Sulfur bacteria or the genus Thiobacillus here can convert hydrogen sulfide 
or sulfur back to sulfate. Sulfur in the rock can be returned back to the soil in the form of sulfate through two routes or ways. The first way is through weathering and oxidation of sulfur containing rocks. The second mechanism is through combustion or burning of fossil fuels that are dug up and extracted from the rocks. Then, through combustion, this sulfur in the fossil fuels just releases to the atmosphere in the form of sulfur dioxide. This is the loop manner of sulfur cycle in an ecosystem to keep continue life on Earth because sulfur is the most fundamental substance to make 